Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Motortown Behind the Wheel. This is a first look video. I'm going to do some in-depth stuff in this video, and so we are going to be playing for quite some time. If you don't like long-winded people or long-winded videos, this is probably not the place for you. I'm going to suggest you go elsewhere. But if you want kind of an in-depth look at the game and having fun at the same time, that is where you're at, and that's what we're going to do today. So I am in my hometown. This is my guy, Lazy Blue. For those of you that have been around my channel, my name is V Blue Guitar or Arthur Chapman. Either way, it works. And this is my hometown of Gangjung. And uh, in this hometown, we have some things I'm going to show you because right away, Motortown is a pretty open world game. And you can kind of do whatever you want. You don't have to do any specific thing, but there's lots to do. Um, you can be a bus driver, an ambulance driver, a taxi driver. You can race cars and be a professional racer. You can also... Um, be an ambulance driver, you can do a garbage truck, there's a tow truck job. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. And we're going to try to do a little bit of each job, and you're going to see the day go by and, and what kind of jobs we have. Now, I've played for a bit, so I've unlocked some stuff. Um, you do start with a muscle car, and they take you through a little tutorial on what to do with the different cars. Um, here we have Bubbles Truck. <laughs> this makes me want to watch Trailer Park Boys. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to use the Bubbles Truck because it's small. But uh, you really, the first job, and I think probably the most profitable that you start with, is the box delivery job. And I'm going to give you a little tip right here about all of this. Um, you don't want to use the bigger trucks yet. And I'm not sure when they come in to be appropriate, but there's a $250 uh, charge fee every time you drop a package off with this truck. So you got to really watch. If you're taking cargo that's worth $500, bucks, you are only going to make $200. Bucks. Whereas with this truck... There's only like an $80 fee. So if you, you know, deliver a $500 package, you're going to make 400 bucks. You're almost better off just taking the pickup truck. Um, now, this game's handling and it's a it's an arcade game. It definitely is. But it has some unique features to it that I really like. Uh, first of all, it's got um, full support for controllers. So I'm driving with a, a clutch and uh, I've got my uh, heavy equipment side panel for farm sim with some of the buttons set up on that like the start button and the headlights button and the flashers are all on that panel and my cruise control settings though i haven't found a cruise control they have an auto drive which actually drives for you and that's scary um i've got my steering wheel hooked up a uh, logitech g13 and i'll tell you what they all work they just worked Uh, all right, so we're going to go to the control panel and raise the landing gear. So we're going to have to I have to park this. I haven't used the trailer before. I'm interested to see. looks a little high, actually. Maybe I should use Bubbles Truck. <laughs> Let me get out of this truck here. Uh, Z, there we go. Um, but the controllers all work well, and it's, it's, um, it's a good thing. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's get loaded up. Uh, I don't know. I've never done this before, so I don't know if the truck needs to be. But we'll try to do a little bit of each job, and that way you guys can kind of see how this game works and why I enjoy it so much. Uh, but it is a pretty decent driving game. And once again, uh, other things that are, are not, you know, so great. Well, the clutch doesn't work the right way. Can we take this? That's a big price. We want to go to 1,100 rest area load. No, it's too big. Um, the CO Sand Warehouse. Oh, two packages. Look at that. All right, so we should make about $1,000 on this trip. Now, the CO Sand, uh, Seong Sand Warehouse is, as you can see on the map, there's a map down here that shows us that it's all the way over here. So let's head over to Seong Sang. Um, and uh, there we go. Hop back into the cockpit. Here's the cockpit view. This is how you're going to spend a lot of your time because it is much easier I think at least to drive in cockpit if you were playing with a controller like an Xbox controller then probably outside the game is there's the tow truck right there the outside cam is probably more comfortable for you there's a school bus oh and the one thing you can do and I haven't done this because I've got a high sided trailer you can uh, tie down loads that are in the back of your truck Probably a good idea. I didn't do it, but. 
But um, you'll notice here, like I'm shifting with my shifter. Now, the only downside here, there's two things I wish this game had, and this is in this view is where you can see them. The first, and probably more important to me, is the able the ability to use VR or track IR. Now, I don't have a VR headset. I use track IR. But this would be a great game to have a VR or track IR uh, system. And uh, I use track IR with Truck Sim and a lot of my other games. And um, this would just help this game immensely. Um, because you can look to the sides to see what's happening with traffic. Uh, the second thing that I wish they supported, even though this does support a stick shift system, it's got an auto clutch. And it, hey, watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rev up and I'm going to hold the clutch in. Yeah, it works, right? So the, the clutch does work, but I'm going to do this now. Watch. I'm going to stop the truck. My foot's off the clutch. I'm going to pop it into first, and I just drive. <laughs> you don't need the clutch. So there's an auto clutch feature that's always enabled. Now, the developer has been made aware of this by others in the forums, and he says he's working on it and that he, they are going to put in the future an auto clutch switch. So that is coming. Uh, you can turn the auto clutch on and off, which I'm looking forward to. So what happens in real life is if you don't give it a little bit of gas while you're taking your foot off the clutch, the truck will stall. And since we already have a start-stop engine mechanic, that'll play right along with that. So I'm looking forward to that addition also. Uh, but the track IR is coming. Uh, they have, they have, the developer bought a track IR kit and they are learning how to develop it into the game, so they will be adding track IR, which I think is an excellent move. For those of us that play simulators, we like to have VR and track IR, so. Now, one of the things that um, I like about this game is that even though it takes place in what looks like Japan, uh, we have a lot of both European, Japanese, and American looking trucks and cars. There's a Mac R. There's a Ford Focus. There is a, um, you know, that tow truck was obviously American. There's a, like a Lamborghini or something. I don't know. American muscle car right there. That's what you start off with, that car that just passed us. Um, there's a Volkswagen bus. There's the tow truck. That's definitely an American tow truck. So they have all kinds of American police cars, including a Dodge Charger and a Crown Victoria. Um, you will get ticket. There's a ticketing system. If you are driving too fast or driving on the wrong side of the road, the police will come after you and chase you down. So <laughs> you gotta you gotta behave a bit. You can go f you know pretty fast, but I don't always behave. But I'm behaving right now because I got these packages and I want to get them delivered. Um, so you'll see, this is a good way to make money, though. And once again, I wouldn't recommend using the big trucks yet. Wow. I think I clipped them. Uh, because the big trucks, unfortunately, um, they charge so much money to do it. So you want to get a really big truck and get a three or $4,000 job. You get a $500 ding, but you still made like 2500 bucks. And uh, I haven't unlocked the semi yet because I don't have enough experience. Um, so... After we do this, I think we'll try to, we'll see what's in town, but I'm going to try to grab like a school bus job. I haven't done any bus jobs yet. Um, I think, I mean, a, v a VW, there's the charger right there. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? American ambulances, there's the Macar, a bunch of them. The car that I want to get in this game is a, they have a, uh, a 240 uh, Z and I want the, oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. This just got added into the game. For those of you that aren't familiar with this, that's a Grand National right there. I don't know if this is the X model or not. You can't really tell. I think with that vent right there on the side, that's a Grand National X. One of my favorite cars. I actually got to drive one of those when I was in high school uh, for an afternoon. A friend of my mom's boyfriend had one, and he let me tool around town in it for, for several hours. And, man, was that a fun car to drive. It had like a Knight Rider symbol where the turbo was that would light up whenever the turbo was active. It was a, a turbocharged V6. Pretty cool car. Once again, the school buses are also American style. The, the passenger buses uh, for the short routes are European, like DAF buses, and or MAN maybe. And then 
the road bus, like the long distance buses, are American Greyhound buses. So you'll see that too when we stop at a bus depot. I'm sorry, I thought we were supposed to go that way, but I misread the GPS. There we have the Ford Focus right there. Now, one thing that kind of, uh, another thing they've done to kind of make the game fun, you can't just go to a dealership and buy like that Grand National or a Porsche. What happens is as you go to different places around the map, um, you'll find cars that you can buy parked. And the thing that I've found is that they do move. They're not always there. So you may, you know, one time go there and the car is there, and then another time it's somewhere else. So if you have a very specific car that you want to buy, like a, hey, I've always wanted that Grand National, you're going to have to look for it. You don't just get to drive to the dealership and buy it. Um, and that's kind of neat because in real life, you know, those cars, they sell, um, they're, they're not easy to find. They, they're, you know, they're pretty rare. So I like that idea. All right, let's hop out of the camera and let's pull in here and see what we got. There we go. So we got a delivery there and now we're going to have to back the trailer in because that doesn't and see, they only charged us, well, they charged us 161 but I still made $400 on that. So you're much better off using the pickup truck. And let's see, I don't know how they do the trailer, like what that costs. But if I had used that, um, that other truck, the, I guess, is that a DAF? It looks like a Camus or a DAF to me. Um, if I would have used that truck, uh, I would have had a huge... $400 fee altogether for both of these. So, yeah, same price. So we made eh, 500, 500 minus 161 on each one. We made about $800. And that's pretty dang good. Uh, but like I said, you would have only made four, like 500 if you would have used the bigger truck. So, at the beginning, at least now, I think that um, you're stuck using these little trucks. And that's not necessarily um, going to be how it is forever because once again this game is still in development we are in beta and so there's things that are going to change to keep adding things and so there's a lot a lot coming so all right i'm going to find the next job so i will be right back now one thing that's a little silly once you've used a company truck like from somebody else you can just leave it uh you can summon vehicles if you leave your own vehicle somewhere you can summon it but it costs 300 bucks but if you <laughs> like i'm done with this truck i'm just going to move on to the next one and we're just going to leave that there I wanted to see something, though. Can we get into this? No, not yet. Okay, well, it's worth a try. So I'm going to try the cement truck. I didn't even know we had these. We'll, we'll take the green one. Let's see. All right, so I'm in the... Nope. <laughs> Scoot over. Oh, I'm not allowed to yet. Dang. Arr. Uh, so there you can see the levels. This truck requires a level 10, uh, level 20 driving skill level. Now... Lazy Blue, my guy here, he's only level 17, so already I'm not qualified. And you also need a delivery level of level 10, and I don't, let's see, if I go into the side menu here, uh, I am level 5 on my delivery. I'm about to go up to level 6, but you can see here we have different levels for each type of job. Taxi, which I'm level 6, bus, which I'm level 1, and trucking, which I'm level 5. So you can't, I can't drive this yet, so... Too bad. Okay, well, that's that. Oh, and while we're here, I wanted to bring you to this. We are in the city of Gujwa. And um, I'm going to put the parking brake on. I'm going to hop out. This is the truck dealer in Gujwa. And uh, you can see here they have a repair bay for your trucks. And then they have a bunch of different kinds of haulers that you can buy so you can decide what career path you want i would suggest probably if you're going to go for the gusto get one of these you know probably honestly this one would be the better maneuvering one between these two um and then you have a dump truck you have a cement truck you've got a flat bedded truck and they cost different amounts of money for sure uh, you're gonna really be investing in something like this a box truck i haven't done any box truck missions i actually might take one because there's one there's a box truck facility right next door here. Uh, and then we have a um, garbage truck. Now, you can change the color for 100 bucks. You can sell your truck here. Same thing goes for the cars. There are car garages throughout the map that you can go to and uh, change your color. 
for $100. You can upgrade parts, wheels, tires, suspension mods, uh, engines, all that kind of stuff. So you can bring a truck in here and, and soup it up. Uh, pretty cool stuff, actually. Uh, very Grand Theft Auto-esque. Once again, I would say this game is somewhere between, if you could take, you know, Grand Theft, uh, sorry, once again, track IR would be nice. Uh, <laughs> whoops, sorry. If you could take um, Grand Theft Auto and um, American Truck Simulator, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe Wasteland Trucker, <laughs> and mix them all with Roblox. I mean, you. This is that's what you have. This is the child of those games. Uh, it's a lot of fun, though. It really is. Um, and so I, you kind of, once again, you pick the career path that you want to go down and then try to go down that career path. So I want to see real quick here what the big truck does. Um, and so let's take a look here. And once again, this is a, I haven't used the box truck or even seen it before. I, let's Can we drive it? Yeah, we can. So we're in the Tronco, I guess it's called. Start the engine. You get to see a truck being driven. Oops. Stalled. All right, let's get some packages for the Trunko. Once again, there's a second camera mode that's just the steering wheel. For those of you that want to see just that weird... I'm not sure what that is. But... Uh, this is kind of a cool little facility. Like, the details, I like this game because it... Yes, it is cartoony, but... Uh, and I say Roblox, but that's tongue-in-cheek. Roblox graphics are terrible. Um, this actually has pretty good looking graphics um they are cartoony though if you can't get past that I, I know a lot of my guys like simulators and they're into like pretty heavy simulation so this might not appeal but <laughs> it's got the right bones to it and all right so we got pallet of toys produce and there's no cargo oh that sucks there's no cargo available huh Uh, well, that stinks. All right. Well, we'll look for the. I'll go ahead and look for the next job. I'm going to steal the Tronco here, and we'll we'll drive that for a minute, and then we'll we'll cut the camera. Up. <laughs> uh, there is a big mountain in the game, kind of like this. Kind of is a, a little bit like Japan, uh, and you go up to the top of the mountain. And there's like a ski resort up atop. Actually, it's just a gas station. But uh, you oftentimes will get deliveries up there, and those deliveries are worth a lot of money. So if you can, it's good to get those. This is how I always end up getting tickets because I hate waiting for these guys. Uh, if you're in a car, you can usually outrun the cops. It takes a while. I just went up to level 18, by the way, that you can see that. All right, so I'll be back. It just dawned on me. You know what this game reminds me of? Simcopter. That's what this game is, especially when you get to the garbage missions. You'll see what I'm talking about. This game reminds me of Simcopter, and that's a great thing because Simcopter was a time-sucking great game. It was like one of the, my favorite all-time games that I ever played. So, yeah. Oh, right. Here's a car dealership. Sweet. Pull in here. Oh God! I wonder if I could. <laughs> Whoops! Well, that was an exuberant entrance, right? Let's go put the truck in neutral, and we're gonna hop out. And ew, they ain't gonna be happy about that. Here's the tow truck, ninety thousand bucks. It's interesting they didn't put this with the other trucks. Maybe this was in game earlier before they had a truck dealership. Notice there's no damage on either vehicle. You can repair vehicles, though. After a while, things do start wearing out, and you you know lose performance, so you need to repair them. Um, you can buy a taxi cab. I would suggest this probably being your first route, <clears throat> as I might have done this myself. Um, you make you know anywhere from 500 to, to 2,000 bucks a run in the taxi cabs, and you make money quick because you're driving a car. It's fast. Uh, and it's cheap to get started. If you sell that first car they give you, you get 5000 bucks. So in about an hour, maybe two hours of gameplay, you can own one of these and start making money without having to pay any rental fees. Got a Crown Vic. 
Ferrari, not sure what model. I don't know my Ferraris anymore. I used to know the 80s ones when I grew up, but I don't. I haven't kept up with Ferrari. Obviously, some kind of Chevy Ford Dodge mashup pickup that we drove before. Same thing with the van. Some kind of American van. Definitely a Lamborghini. <laughs> Punto? Fiat Punto? I, that's the only thing I can think of with this car. It looks like a Punto. Maybe a Citroën or Peugeot. I don't know. And then last but not least, we have our Ford Focus. Definitely either the RS or the probably the ST, um, you know, sport model. And not bad price, $80,000 for that. That one's got Synco Logistics on it. Interesting. It's like a... Uh, when you're like a hauler car. And this is where you sell your cars. I am curious. Hmm, let's see. I don't think you can do this, but maybe you can be really evil. Sell vehicle. Ah. <laughs> Crap. Nope. Okay, see you in a minute. So, I finally found the bus jobs. Once again, you cannot start out in the city bus. This is the Greyhound bus I was talking about. But you start off small, and we have these Volkswagen Vanagons designed to set up for passenger usage. Now, in America, I don't think you ever see that. You can pick different routes. Uh, I think you probably should pick one near where you start. So this is where West 1 here. We've got Sunsang High School 1. That probably would be a good time on the school bus one. We can go from here to, uh, oh, that just ends in Gangjung, where, where we live. There's a Gangjung Town ring, an Ali ring, which is oh, all the way around the outside. And that would probably be a good travel bus. And Jeju. And so we live in Jeju. Let's just do this one. Uh, there's 78 passengers. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we'll do the, no, we'll do the smaller one. All right. Because, once again, I'm just trying to show you the different careers. I don't want to. Hello. Hello. Wow, he filled up. We're full. All right. All right, everybody. Oops, installed. You guys ready to take a ride on the bus? Here we go. You guys ever seen the movie Speed? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's no comfort. Oh, it says 8 out of 8 up in the top right. I should have figured that out. All right. The bus doesn't kneel, so we're just going to stop. 8 of 8. Oh, I made 210 bucks. That's pretty good. I think a passenger just fell out. I forgot to close the door. Welcome to Jenshin's fastest transport. You are now on the Jaijin Express. <laughs> Vomit bags can be found in the back of the seat. Please keep your seats upright at all times, as we may crash at any moment. Everyone, hold on. Whoa. Whoa, look out, lady. <laughs> That's a guy. Whoa. World's fastest bus driver. Everybody out. Get out. Okay. That's it. Moving on. To the next stop. 800 meters. Get out of the way. We ain't got room for hitchhikers. Paying passengers only. Actually, this would be a great bus to buy. You can make some decent money on this. Is everybody sick yet? Good. I can see the bus driving career being a lot of fun. Too bad they don't yell and swear at you and stuff. And yes, you do have turn signals. No, I'm just not using them. 
I'm a bad driver. Oh, by the way, there's multiplayer in this game. I don't know exactly what you would do, but it seems like it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Up to five players, it looks like, at a time. All right. Get out. Thank Hello. You very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, I've already made 600 bucks. Everybody in? I think I scared people away. I don't know if you sit long enough if you get people or not, but that looks like that's it for us, so. So this is a good way to make money. Now, at the end of the route, we'll see how much they charge us for the fee on the bus. So far, we've made about $600. Curious to see what they charge us for the bus rental fee. Looks like this is the last stop. Now, obviously, the further you go, the more people you'll pick up. But this is a lot of fun, man. I could do this. Uh, I could do this more for sure. All right. There's that. Open the door. Hello. 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 Open her full again. We got people. Standing room. Oh, no, they're all in. <laughs> I like the way they say hello. 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 Oh, the sound just died. Now that's a bug. Oh, I'm left with an awkward feeling. Oh, it's back. Look out, ambulance. We got the right... Oh, no, we don't. There's some more trucks you can drive, more delivery jobs at the port. Oh, Lord. These poor people have experienced the worst bus driving of all time. So once again, I haven't unlocked the semi-truck jobs, like the big semi-truck, and I'd love to be able to do those for you, but I can't yet. Um, same with the big bus jobs. So maybe we'll do a little series on this and have some fun. I really like this game. It's Like I said, it's pretty addictive. Eight of eight, close the door. So 210 plus 420, 600, 700, 800, 900. We've made about $1,000. That's pretty good, easy money. So I would suggest doing that, even maybe over package delivery. Because those packages, you never know what you're going to get. and But then you might get bored of driving people around. So I don't know, it's a tough one. supposed to deliver people back there what oh anywhere along here okay well I probably should have backed in but and hello hello you're welcome guys hello hello wow 700 more bucks <laughs> we have we made almost two thousand dollars on that run and it looks like we just keep going. So um, you can just keep making money doing this now. The downside is we have to keep doing that same round over and over again. So you might want to change routes. But that is a lot of fun. And we made money. And they did not charge us any money for vehicle rental. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, once again, if I, if I leveled up, we could drive this. But right now, yeah, you need level three so we can't drive any of these buses yet so anyway pretty neat stuff okay so i'm gonna go find the next career that we can do uh once again there's all kinds of truck driving jobs and i don't want to cut anything short there but there's like you know you can drive a truck that carries only certain things at certain times and, and but they're all truck driving jobs they're all the same so these people are not going to be happy because i'm going to not take a route you guys i don't know why you didn't get off but we're, we're leaving so we're not on a route right now we're just driving so hold on to your butts all right oh there's an airport here too by the way let's go take a look at that wait this is the wrong way is this the way there it's a very small airport 
It's Jeju Airport. It's got a little fence around the outside. It, oh, okay, we can get in here. So safe. That's the airport. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, 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 no. Oh, wait a wait. <laughs> Let's see. These people stick with us. Yeah, they do. They're all here waiting for us to get there. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, folks. Oh, rats. Maybe someday, huh? You guys get a little tour of the island. Everybody hold on. And once again, another one of these kind of like side jobby things. There's a box truck, obviously delivering things from the airport, probably luggage. Oh, the road goes this way. I'm not a very good driver. Oh, there's a big boat coming in. That's cool. So once again, it has, it does have a little bit of a Grand Theft Auto-esque feel. Um, we could use some more truck models, but you know what? There's a Supra. Did you guys see that? I think that was a Supra. Anyway, you could probably buy that somewhere. All right, I'll be back. Oh, by the way, no, oh, no, come on. By the way, remember that house? You can buy other houses in this game, so there's some really cool houses you can buy. Oh, look, there, I told you, there's Bubbles Truck for 10000 bucks. That'd be a good way to get started. Uh, if you want to not do the taxis, look over here. We are in, what city is this? It's a little town. Uh, we're up here in Oreo, Oedo. Uh, there is, uh, that truck is parked right there. So if you go to Oedo, you might be able to get Bubbles truck for, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> I just started recklessly, uh, driving out of control. So, uh, I I've also found there's those shops. You can see there's like little grocery stores right now. The only thing you can buy there is a better flashlight. So I'm not sure the point, but anyway. I just thought I'd share that Bubbles Carlo. Oh, there's this. Oh, you see that 280Z? That's what I want, or 240Z. Uh, for those of you that have been following the channel as regular viewers, uh, I did end up, Mark and I sold the RX-7 yesterday. Most likely. The guy the guy definitely wants it, and uh, he's just checking with his bank to make sure he can do it, and uh, then he's going to buy it. So, bye bye RX-7. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great car, but anyway, it's gone. So, all right, let's see what's up here. I see this big thing up here. And these people are all touring with me. It looks like a shopping mall or something. What is this? Mm, oh, it is. A wool, a wool furniture store. Huh. Can I buy furniture? I don't think so. <laughs> Still, like, what? That's really cool, like, the detail. And so I think, personally, I think what's going to happen is I bet you they start adding in things that you can buy, like sprucing up your house and stuff. So maybe, in a way, it will become a little bit like Grand Theft Auto or Roblox in that um, you'll have an opportunity to upgrade your house, have like go inside your house and have furniture, <laughs> have different clothes to wear. Sorry, everyone. Rocky ride ahead. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, we have arrived at the ambulance job. Let's see if we can do it. Um, it, it doesn't have these marked. <coughs> okay, so you have to have race car training. And a level 10 of what is that, taxi service? Oh, so I got a long way to go there. So we can't drive an ambulance yet. Oh, well. Uh, I figured probably ambulance and police are going to be things that we can't just do off the bat. So I'll be back. And if you're wondering why I haven't stolen someone else's car to get where I want to go, aside from stealing from the companies that I work for, which is terrible <laughs> and really a really bad idea, um, <coughs> I don't believe you can Grand Theft Auto cars. Um, we've tr I've tried to get in them. It just says you must be this level to drive them, but it doesn't allow you to take other people's cars. So 
as of right now, you can't steal cars, but it sounds like you'll be able to steal your friends' cars, which I don't know if that's a great idea. Hello. Uh, and so I, who knows? How about this person? Hey. Okay, so let's see the police career. Can we do a police job? Well, that's pretty cool. So we got a couple different police interceptors. Once again, these are all looking off. <laughs> yeah, 10. What level is this? Five. And level two. So we really, you could get into the. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the Dukes of Hazard car, uh, the Dukes of Hazard police car, Sheriff County, uh, for a pretty low amount of experience. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the driver's race course. We can do both. I'll grab that. But um, anyway, we'll grab one of these courier vans and head over to the racetrack. So I'll see you in just a minute. So I've arrived at the racetrack. i got to be honest with you, I've never done any of this. You can buy these sports cars from here. Can I just drive my van as a race van? The, the racing icon is over here. Whoa. Um, so do I just drive around the track to get experience? Or do you have to have a golf? That looks like fun, though, actually. let us I hate to spend extra money, but let's go ahead and so spawn a vehicle. Did I just spend six stuff? No, I didn't. Okay. So do I just go? This only has one gear. <laughs> Whoa! Does it keep track of my time? I don't know. I have no idea how to do this. All it said is you have to drive around the track to get race experience. This is it, huh? There's like start markers. Ah, now we got a timer. Okay. So I had to do that first warm up lap. This, I think, is the most exciting speedway out of all of them, too. There's not a... Oh, off track. Come on. Got to cut in a little. Let's see, it didn't penalize me there. So I wonder if we can just get in these cars or if you have to. So when do I start earning experience? And maybe he just goes up, I don't know. It's... Somebody help me out. Did we do better? Nope. We're actually slower, I think, that time. It's hard to get the corner right. This corner is a tough one. It 
So I wonder if we take our van out here and do this. Like, if it... My, I wish I had my souped up. I souped up a taxi cab. I think I showed it to you. I still need to show you the taxi car. I'm waiting for last on that one because I have a taxi. I think I'm going to beat it. 52, 50, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so we just, every time we do a lap, we get 89 experience. This will lead us fairly quickly to our police career because we'll be able to get to level two. I wish it would show me the experience level, but it doesn't. Okay, so doing a lap, it doesn't matter how fast the lap is, you get experience for each lap, and that's cool. Oh, bad lap. Bad lap. So pretty fun. I'm going to keep grinding this out until I get the police. Okay. That's level two uh, of the racing experience. There you go. Oh wait, system level up, level 20, it didn't, but I didn't level up. Shoot. So maybe if I, I only get best lap, uh, I don't know, this... I'm not sure how that works. But I'm in 20th. So I'm the very slowest lapper. <laughs> oh, no, I'm level 20. Sorry, that's I read that wrong. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I ran around the track a million times, and I was able to get a score, my score down to 50 seconds. That's not bad. 50, <coughs> just over 50 seconds is about, about as good as I can get with this car. I forgot that you can rent cars, too. Um, I think... Who knows how they're going to handle, but I, I'm going to, how much is this to rent? 50 bucks for 10 minutes. Um, I think we're going to rent that. But in the first, I want to take a look and see how our level's doing. Uh, we are almost to level two, so it's going to take some more racing. We're going to rent this car, though. Oh. Hopefully in 10 minutes we'll be able to get it done. Uh, all right, so let's start her up. Let's go. Oh man, this is a lot faster than that little go-kart. Nope, bad driving on my part. Of course. <laughs> I might be faster in the go-kart. Oh Lord. Man, this thing's all over. And I like that, though, because it really would be in real life like you. I, think I might do better in my cab. I got a rear wheel drive cab. These are really small tracks, too, though. It's a little bit. That will not be my best lap ever. I leveled up. Oh, so it's like 50 bucks every three minutes. My rent was extended another 50 bucks. And that was just for, because it's 10 minutes game time. I thought they were saying 10 minutes like real time. I'm glad I didn't take the Lamborghini. That would have been really expensive. I don't know if I have enough control to shave off seconds. We are, we definitely got some seconds off there. Whoa, whoa. Jeez, power off. Slow application of power, second gear. And get in there on the A 
apex. <laughs> Get to the outside and back in on the apex again. It's a, it's a tough corner. Oh, maybe that was just the, maybe it actually is 10 minutes. That was the only time we've been dinged, so. How are we doing on time? For the, our last lap was 47, so we actually did better than the lap before. Come on, get some grip. I'll tell you what, the, and I've got traction assist on and stuff all the way. The, it feels pretty dang good. I just gotta get used to the way it handles. Definitely not going to make the best time that time. Nope. Dang it. If I'm really focusing, I might be able to get it down again, but that was, I think that was luck. Whoa, this ain't going to be it. But the good news is we keep, we're getting our XP up, so... Was that worth 50 bucks? Yeah, we get a lot. You get a lot around the track. Honestly, not that much faster. The go kart was pretty quick. Five second difference. Um, I mean, that is a lot of time. But lights on. Sometimes to go right, you need to go left. Oh, wait, that wasn't tow meter. That <laughs> I'm the world's best backwards driver. Oh, we did it that time. 43 seconds. That was great. We leveled up to level two. Hooray. Now we can be a cop. Okay. So I'm going to go get the cop car. How do I end my rent? I think it just, maybe it just does it. We'll see. But we're going to take this to get the police car. So I will be back. I'm going to take the Ferrari out on the open road. Bye. Places, so we're gonna be a cop. I'm gonna be a police officer. Officer of the law. Respect my authority. You guys might actually get to see a police chase here. they work because the police they don't you just kind of drive past them <laughs> keep going as fast as you can and they usually don't catch you unless you stop and let them catch you but if you stop and let them catch you after you've run you'll get an evading arrest if you stop right away it's usually a hundred dollar fine but if you keep running it's like six seven hundred dollars and they'll charge you multiple infractions speeding resisting arrest Though I got now, I was gonna say I got. Oh, oh Lord! <laughs> well, that's what would happen. This is why I would never buy a car that's this fast. Because oh, I broke the radiator. Dang it! Now it's gonna start overheating. You son of a biscuit! You turn left, right in front of me. Honestly, it was really my fault. It's totally my fault. All right. 
off to the police station we go at 140 kilometers an hour. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, yes, eventful. Look, dude, we've already used like a quarter tank of gas. <laughs> Ten minutes. There's the police station. So, look out, Santa. All right, I want to be a police officer. Please. Let's see. So, reset camera, control panel, tab. Vehicle info. Four speed. Owner's profit share, 35%. Oh, that's interesting. It shows you that. This is a front driver, it looks like. Wait, is that a rear? No, a rear driver, rear engine is what that's showing. Oh, you can lock it. Okay. So if, you, if you're playing multiplayer, you can lock the car. We have no cargo. <laughs> uh, all right. Then I want to get out of the car. And can I, how do I re return it? It doesn't really let me, does it? I don't know where you return the car to. Am I pushing it? Oh, I can push it. Look at that. No, no, I don't want it to. No. No. Get out of my way. Okay, let's take the police car. <laughs> Start engine. Miss the gate. <laughs> oh. How do I turn the lights on? Is it hazard lights that make the. No. How do I make the. Hang on, let me see outside. If I turn the siren on. Oh, it does. So every other time you turn it on, it turns the siren on. So what am I supposed to do? You just hit an officer of the law! <laughs> Sorry. They just hit me again. You blame them? Oh, he's shoving me out of the way. Oh, this guy. Dude, you're, where'd he go? You're going to jail. Under arrest, you son of a biscuit. This is what we do in America. We shove the cars around with our police car. Oh. Suspect zero. Oh, okay. Well. We'll just drive around until we find someone to arrest. I don't think that's how cops talk, but that's how Tomator talks. Um, <laughs> let's see. Who can be my first victim? I mean, suspect. There's my house. I haven't shown you my sweet taxi yet. That's my taxi. So I have no idea how this works. <laughs> so I'm going to drive around until I find a suspect. I'll be back. Oh, a suspect has appeared. You see the big marker up there? That's the suspect. Ooh. Pull over. Yes. We stopped him. You're going to jail, mister. Pull him out of that car. Beat him down. 
Someone's already grabbed it. I did what all cops do. Like, accidentally, I left my siren on. You're supposed to turn them off when you... <gasps> oh, no. Another suspect just drove by. Let's get him. <laughs> We're going to get him. If they just willingly pull over if you have to ram them. Isn't that the same guy? The suspect. I got $100 for speeding. Look out, folks! Oh, oh, God! The humanity! That did not go so well. That's exactly what police try to avoid. Oh, there's going to be a lot of those ambulance victims in a minute. Oh, he's like far. I don't even know where he went. There he is. Hot pursuit. Don't let me get you speeding again. Spike strip. You guys ever played, remember Need for Speed Hot Pursuit? What a great game that was. <laughs> oh, he's driving it. That guy's, this guy's got a uh, Grand National X. Yes. Pull over, you. Oh, the suspects are just rolling now. I need to see where he's at, so. Oh, there's two pur pursuits going on here. Need to get back into town. I think those people are rebelling because of the bad police officer driving and all the injuries. Well, this is kind of a fun career path. I think you guys will pull one more person over, but I think you get the idea. Next, we'll look at the garbage man career, which is not a bad one. Ah, oh, they caught one of them. Dang it. So we had no suspects, and then all of a sudden, all heck broke loose, and we got a bunch of suspects running around town. Once again, while you're not as involved as Simcopter, look out. Yes. Whoa, she looks like a Roblox. So I am happy with Roscoe Pico trains cop car. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our um, garbage career. And that's kind of fun. This just, like I said, there's just so much to this game. Uh, all right, so I'll be back. The sheriff rolls into town. And uh, we are going to take a garbage truck out for fun. All right, so let's do it. And so basically the garbage truck career is just that. You can drive to different towns. It does. Oh. <laughs> there is garbage that's laid out on the side of the road. However, you got to be careful because if you pull over to the wrong side of the road oh, to get said garbage, you'll get a ticket. So you're better off and you really aren't going to outrun the cops. I mean, you can, you can try, but you're going to spend all day trying to get away um, now this shows you where there's garbage on the map so there's a little pile right at the end of the driveway but it's on the wrong side of the road uh, my suggestion is that you go into the towns so if you go to like Xinxiang for example or um, 
Brooks and Chang or, you know, our, our hometown, Gangjung, or wherever. Um, most of these, oops, I stalled. Well, that's cool. It stalls when you roll backwards. That's pretty realistic, actually. Um, because you'll pick up a lot of garbage in town, enough to fill the truck. Each bag of garbage that you put in the truck is worth um, half of a slot, and there's 10 slots in the truck. Then you'll make a couple thousand dollars for a full truck. And obviously, they're, they're using the burnt garbage to make uh, energy, and that's kind of cool. So we're recycling and making power. These trucks are six-speed transmissions. You can have different transmissions put in your vehicles. And so after I'm done with this, I'm going to show you a little bit of taxi cab career, and then we'll call it a, a episode or a, a first look. I, I think this game is great. Once again, we've only covered probably half or less of what there is to do in the game. There's just a lot to do. Lots of different career paths that you can take. Or you can take them all, which is what I'm trying to do. Uh, and there, it's just a lot of fun. And you can, once again, I think buying your own vehicles, you know, there's there's something to save up for. Plus, once you get that vehicle, you can really soup them up. So you can improve their performance, improve their horsepower, change their looks. Some of the cars have skins. Um, so there's, there's just all kinds of different things you can do. And once again, the game is not nearly finished. The developer is actively working on this game, and it's not—it's a—it's a long way from being done. So there, I think we'll see a lot more cool content come out. The AI traffic could stand some work. I would love to try the bus career, honestly. That looks like fun to me. Um, well, that was nice over the back. Look, they figured it out. <laughs> not nearly as good as. American Truck Simulator is AI, but somewhat better in some ways. In real life, the main road would have the right of way. I thought that we would find garbage here, but theres I thought there was a town. But apparently it's just some cliffs. Ugh. So I think we're going to need to turn around and continue further on. There's a bus stop out here. Let's get turned around. We get to go back to this wonderful intersection. So I will get to you once I find piles of garbage. Once again, I thought this would be where we would find it, but I thought there was a town here and there's not. So I'll be back. We do have some garbage up here by the side of the road. We can stop and get those. These are really easy to get. So here's one point of garbage. Stop here. Put your hazards on. And X. That's all you got to do. Once again, dirt roads aren't always marked on the map. Some of them obviously are impassable. And that was it. It was that easy. Now, one thing I'm realizing, this truck has four seats. This could be, and here, we, here I want to show you. Here, we're coming up on Aeol, Aeol, and there's a ton of garbage, as you can see. Maybe not enough to fill the truck up, but there's a decent amount. And uh, this could be maybe the first multiplayer game um, because in the, in the game, because you can have people getting out and getting garbage while you just pick it up, and we're going to have to pick up. There's a bunch of garbage here, but. Let's go ahead and load that cargo, put the parking brake on, parking. All right, and we're going to hop out. But you could, you could just, par dri one guy could drive and somebody else could. There's a seat here, see, so you could you can stand on those. Somebody else can be the garbage guy that picks all these up. Once again, you can put three along the back here, and I'll show you how to do this. Eh, got to get it a little more perfect. There we go. 
There's one. I know it doesn't look like it's on there great, but that's, that's about as good as it gets. There's two. Nope, just drop it. Oh. <laughs> X-Cargo. There we go, two. There's the van again. Three. Now. We squish it. Good. And then here's the last one here. Oh, wait. Eat that. <laughs> I don't know if we could do that. I think you have to let it finish the compression cycle and then do the door. Use. No coffee yet. That's coming maybe in another patch. So we've gotten all the garbage from here. I don't know why you'd want to buy a bus because you can just use their bus for free. Um, but you can, I guess. All right, so um, parking brake off. Hazards are still on because we're going to back. Nobody has driveways here. I guess was, we just drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> hey, there's my Z. I want that car. Come back. I haven't found where to get it yet. So once again, I prefer playing in camera. I can't wait till we have track IR. That'll make it a little bit easier to play. Got some garbage going on here, though. So we're about, we're not even halfway full. We got quite a lot of garbage to pick up still. But you can see here, you can make a little career out of this if you like. And it's fun. So, all right, I'll catch you when I'm on my way back to the plant when I have a full load. So we are headed back to the power plant with a full load of garbage. Once you fill the truck up all the way, it'll give you a yellow beacon, as you can see here, taking you back to the facility. So you just drive around until you're full. And once again, they charge you a lot of money to use this truck. Uh, this, if you want to have the garbage man career, you, this is one of those that you probably would want to buy the truck if you're going to do the career, because you'll make a lot more money. Like, they literally... If you make $5,000, they charge you, well, they, they for every $400 you make, they charge you 200 So you're literally paying, you're giving them half, and you're paying them half, as far as I can tell. Once again, we might be able to see that in the vehicle info. Um, it might be 35%. Maybe that's just how they go all the way around. But it feels like <laughs> you're getting paid 400 and they're taking away 200 per pay. Uh, every piece of garbage that you have is worth, I think, 200 So it's still a pretty good career, but you could make a lot more money if you own the truck yourself. So um, this is one of those where I would save up and buy the truck. If you want to do Garbage Man and you want to do it a lot, you really enjoy the mini game. Um, this would be a truck worth saving up for. So you kind of have to play the game and figure out what's worth buying and what's not. I don't think buses would be worth buying because they don't really charge you for using the bus. Um, and you make a lot of money. I think the bus is a good career path. Uh, let's take a look really quick here. Before we drop this off, let's take a look at the info. And I think I need to get out of the vehicle to do so. Yeah, X drive. Now, see, it doesn't tell us. Cargo X. Inspection cargo. Jeez. Oh, That was weird. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. Nope, it's still 10 out of 10. 
So this one does not give us the info. Maybe you have to see it once you're out of the vehicle. I don't know. But uh, we'll go to our outside camera to back in because I'm not very good at backing without virtual IR tracker. Because uh, I can't see what I'm doing. You're just kind of guessing where you're backing up to. So I was going to do the taxi career, but I, I think that gives you enough for now. Uh, we'll come back and maybe do a couple more videos. Oh, look, that opens up. I didn't even see that last time I was here. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then the interaction is to go ahead and here comes our money. Let's see, you get 400. They take 220. So it's actually a 55% share. Still, it ain't bad money. And now I got enough to buy myself that little truck that I was looking at. The bubbles truck so what do you guys think of this game please leave your comments in the description um, I if you like driving and driving games and simulators and stuff like that I feel like this game's honestly a pretty good simulator type game it, it is cartoony for sure I mean we're not on the level of you know um, like American Truck Simulator or something like that. It, it, it is definitely not supposed to be that serious of a game. Uh, but it's also not like on a Roblox level where it's just stupid. Um, this game's fun to play. And it definitely t reminds me of, of SimCopter. And that, to me, is good memories. Like SimCopter was a lot of fun to play. And in the same way, this game makes me want to play. Now, I don't know how long that want to play will last for. I have a feeling that it'll last for a while because there's a lot to do. <coughs> there's still, after I, I've played this game probably five, six hours already, maybe more, and there's still many, many more things that I that I haven't done and that I feel like need to be done for me to feel satisfied. And even then, the grindy parts are kind of like what you do. So I, if I want to feel like driving a bus, I can drive a bus. If I feel like driving a taxi, I can drive a taxi. Um, you know, so I just... Uh, I, I do want to show you the taxi thing at some point, but in this video, I think we've just run out of time. But this was a lot of fun, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And as we played around in the world of the night world, and really kind of just scratched the surface of this game because there's so much to it. Um, we saw probably, I'd say probably 50% or less of the game. Um, there's just so much more to it. So anyway, some of it's still locked. I have behind experience walls, which I like because it, you know, you have to get to that point. So anyway, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And once again, this is a great game. And I think that you guys are going to have a lot of fun if you do pick it up. It's only 15 bucks right now. It is early uh, access, but it's playable. So that, that part, I've been playing it for hours. Haven't had any crashes. Simple game, and it works well. Have a great night, and we will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Don't forget to check out my Twitch channel at www.twitch.tv slash VBLU and then the word guitar spelled just like blue up there. Lazy blue. It's blue V blue guitar. V is in Victor. Bye.